But see, when we can use humor to detach from those communication challenges that we reach and we run into every day, because so many of them are instinctual, that can make all the difference in the world. And, and life <laughs> moves, and we either move with it or against it. We make that choice every day, and that's the kind of stuff that I talk about. In fact, how many of you have uh, gone to get your driver's license lately? Anybody? Yeah. So, you know, the, all the states now are required to have the same photography system. I went a couple years ago, and I went to, and I didn't have to go in. I could have sent for it, but I wanted a new picture. I had new hair. You ladies know what that means. Yeah, I had new hair. So I wanted to go get my picture taken. So I went into the DMV, uh, and the gentleman took my picture, and, and he said, I'm sorry, your face has been rejected. I said to him, do you have to use that term? <laughs> and he turned the screen around and showed me it said rejected across my face. I said, you know, what does that mean? I've had this face for like 30, 50, 60 years, something like that. I said, so what am I supposed to do now? And he said, well, we have this program. All the states have to have it. We're tied in with Homeland Security. And, and, and you know, if NCIS is looking for you or CSI. <laughs> You pop right up on their screen, it's everywhere. And I said, well, that's great. He goes, sometimes now we'll just take it again. So he took my picture again, and my face was rejected again. And I said to him, are you telling me the entire state of Nebraska is rejecting my face right now? And he said, no, really the whole country. <laughs> so I say, he said, no, it's, it's fine, we'll figure it out, we'll try it again. He said, they need to triangulate, it'll work out and all that. So he took it again, and, and, and so, my face was rejected again, and I found out that after three bad pictures, they switch cameras. Yeah, and then I found out after five bad pictures, they switch clerks. <laughs> You're probably wondering how I know that policy. Well, my face was not accepted by the country until the 15th picture. And the truth of the matter is uh, that it was the 14th picture, but I was laughing so hard they had to have me close my mouth for the 15th. <laughs> what happened was, my face is too short for the triangulation thing that goes on with the camera on my skull or whatever uh, because of my bangs. So I literally had to lift my bangs off my forehead in order to be accepted by the country. <laughs> so I did that. I got my little temporary you know, photo after, or, uh, ID afterwards because they sent it to you in the mail. And, and I looked at that and I said, sir, I know, I know this is so if, if CSI is looking for me. But I said, I don't look like this picture. I've never not had bangs, and I don't, I don't look like this. And he said, it's fine, they'll triangulate. I said, okay. A week later, I'm flying out of Omaha with my new ID. I hand it to the TSA agent, she takes it, she looks at it, and she looks at me. I finally had to say, it's me. She goes, oh my gosh, it is you. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, this is a little issue in life, right? You have a choice on how to respond to it, and that's the kind of things we work on. I mean, you can get upset about it, or you can just go with it. And this is what I'm telling you, I am a team player. If I have to lift my bangs for five years so that you can be safe, I'm on that. <laughs> I can do that. Ashes.